My whole life has been how do we empower our youth in Indian country to stay Indian, keep their uh, tribal heart and perspective, yet go out there and learn the contemporary American system and still be Indian at heart. What this is behind me, this chain link fence, this is the mass grave. You know, suddenly they're going, oh, there was a Holocaust here that we do not acknowledge. I um, grew up in boarding schools, you know. Um, they were worse than boot camp, I'd say. Um, I don't know if I can talk about them. Can I? We were herded around like uh, cattle and uh, depersonalized. When you see the uh, boarding schools of today, Carlisle and Haskell, the graves at those schools as a result of either suicide, attempted uh, escape, and then of course the cover-ups of the beatings that went too far. So what we're trying to do with the seventh generation project is to provide some other perspectives. We are the human race. We are all brothers and sisters. We are all related. You can really see it with this seventh generation of children. They're not living in fear. This generation, this seventh generation, they will be the ones. I've learned a lot from our traditional leaders, and I'm a firm believer that a member of the seventh generation will be president of this United States. I believe it.